This is a draw latch. Uh, this particular one came from South Co, which is a, a, um, a great company. They make a lot of different pieces of hardware. Uh, they do a lot of, <clears throat> a lot of draw lashes. Um, let's see. Is this the catch? Yeah, there we go. All right, so it comes with two pieces. We've got the catch here, and we've got the, um, uh, the, the actual latch here. And so uh, let's see how this works is, let's say that uh, this catch was rigidly mounted right here. Um, you would you can open up your uh, your draw latch, you know, so it's something like that, and maybe your your catch sits right around there, something like that. And then this catch is going to fall over when I do it. But um, as you pull the uh, the latch back, the handle pretend this latch is, is rigidly mounted, so the the or the catch is rigidly mounted, so. It's, it's not going to move, even though it will when I do this, but pretend it, pretend it doesn't. So you're going to pull this back, and it, 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 well, it's called a draw latch because it draws your, your, your latch back or your, your catch. So if you can see where my finger is right now, right, that's where the end of this latch is, but when I, when I close it, Doesn't move very much. Yeah, I'm not doing a very good job holding it in place either. Let's see if we can do a better job here. Okay, so the end of that that lash is like right here at the the tip of this. It's like a wood grain interface there. And as I pull this back, now you can see it, it has moved. I don't know, maybe a quarter of an inch or three sixteenths of an inch, something like that. But but that's how a draw latch works. And this this curved uh, member right here that will straighten out a little bit. It might not be perfectly straight, but it'll straighten out a little bit. And there's going to be tension in there. So as you as you pull that that uh, uh, latch closed, you're going to encounter resistance pulling right here. Resistance because you know this end is is hooked over against some rigid catch. It's not going to move and, and you're pulling it down and, and this is going to start straightening out a little bit and you're going to feel that resistance and, and then it's going to kind of lock in place. Um, and at that point, uh, your, uh, you, your draw latch is closed and you're, you've securely latched whatever it is that you're latching. Uh, let's see, we'll maybe see if we can take a look inside and see what this looks like. Um, Kind of hard to see it, but you, one thing you might notice is that uh, if if you draw a theoretical point or maybe an axis, you know, over here where your catch would be, you know, like that, something like that, uh, there's going to be a, a a horizontal line between this pin right here and uh, between that catch, and when you and, this, this pin, by the way, is the, this is the pivot axis right here, right? So this, this whole latch pivots about that axis. And as you close it, you'll notice that, that this pin right here, which is where the latch is attached right here to the handle, right? That is, is when it's fully closed, that, uh, that pin is going to sit maybe somewhere around here. So it's beneath this pin. And that's important because uh, this this is what keeps the latch closed. Uh, if 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 this pin right here only ever ended up like right there when the handle was closed, th the whole thing would just spring back and spring back open, right? But we're going past center, center being this pin, and this pin drops down past center. So right, it's probably about center right there, and then it moves a little bit more. And now it's past center, and that's what keeps this handle closed and prevents it from just springing back open like that. It's going to require a little bit of force, I don't know, a pound or two pounds, something like that, for the user to, to push this handle back open and release the latch. And that's how a uh, draw latch works. If you've found this content helpful, 
consider enrolling in our signature program at mypipelineacademy.com. Whether you're an individual interested in beginning a new career as a mechanical designer or a company interested in training your new engineering hires, our signature program helps students develop the practical skills they need to be productive mechanical design engineers. Seating is limited. We hope to see you there soon.